Yeah, I mean, it's obviously Coach's fundraiser, um, anything we can do to support him, and then obviously him supporting others and supporting the Connecticut Children's Hospital and supporting kids. Um, we just love to be here and be a part of that. Yeah, no, it's been really fun uh, just being able to, like I said before, just building these awesome memories. I mean, going to the finals, watching that, um, going to New York the whole weekend was extremely fun, just being able to build memories and going to CE and just, we've been having a lot of fun, but also, like you said, uh, a lot of work has been put in. It's been good. I mean, there's been a lot of progress in the weight room. Um, Hootie's been on all of us, just on our technique, and we're just trying to perfect everything we can in the weight room and then on the court. We're just trying to get better as individuals, and then as a team, we're just trying to sharpen up our skill sets and just make sure that we're getting better on and off the court. I'm good. I mean, I took probably a couple weeks off after the season. Just I did come back from my knee injury, obviously, just so just making sure that was 100% and making sure – I'm mentally and physically ready to go back at it, so I'm I'm good right now. It's really crazy to just sit back and think about. Obviously, when you're going through it during the season, you don't really get to sit back and reflect on it just because you're living through it in the moment. But just seeing all that we went through, all that we uh, just fought through and all that we came through uh, during the season, all the challenges, the obstacles, it was a roller coaster, really, just... The fact that we made it to where we did and the fact that we did it and how we did it and everybody was doubting us. There was a lot of just a lot of um, backlash to the media just from how we weren't the UConn of old, but I feel like that made us stronger as a team and it really brought us together and it made our relationship so strong together that it's something that I'll cherish for the rest of my life. And I'm just really proud of, I know we came up short and UConn is championship or nothing, so Obviously, that's a disappointment, but just looking back at it and just trying to find the positives in it. Yeah, I mean, we're relentless. Um, Avina and Aaliyah were the only two that played the whole season. Everybody else missed a game or two or a lot. Um, but just how, like, the stick to itness that we all had and just the relentlessness and the perseverance that we all had to go through. I feel like nothing can break us. I feel like there's obviously some things that can challenge us and there's things we got to fight through, but I feel like. If we're all together, I don't think anything can break us. Yeah, I think my class, um, me, Nika, um, Aaliyah, I think we're trying to step in and play a much bigger role in that department. Um, just being leadership, or uh, being leaders for the younger guys, freshmen and sophomores, and even just with like Lou and Dorka, they haven't been here. Um, Aubrey's been hurt. Um, so just us having the experience under our belt, um, being to a Final Four freshman year, and then last year make it to the National Championship game. There's a lot of uh, knowledge we can bring to the table, and we've been here for two years now. This is our third year, so just we've seen a lot of stuff, and we know how hard freshman year can be and how, how much you have to learn, how much you have to overcome. So just trying to be that supportive, like, bigger sister role, I think that's all something that we're trying to take. Yana's really athletic, um, can jump out of the gym. She's already, like, the leader in the weight room, extremely strong. Um, and then Lou has done a really good job. Obviously, she has experience um, just playing at Fairfield before, but just her just coming in and getting acclimated, she's, she fits right in with us. And extremely, extremely good basketball player. I mean, she's aggressive. She's, she kind of reminds me of Caroline a little bit, but I, I would say she's a, they're definitely their own players, but she's extremely aggressive, can slash, can score, can shoot, and does a lot of great things on the court. I definitely want to get stronger. Uh, just... Like you said, I don't want to get thrown around. I want to, I want to be able to hold my ground and be able to withstand whatever any defense throws at me. And I know that I'm going to face a lot of different things, and the teams are going to try to be physical with me and beat me up and take me out of the game that way. So just being able to withstand that and just be able to like fight through that and make sure that my body's physically ready for that and I'm mentally ready for that, I think that's a huge key this off season. I mean, UCF game that was, I mean, they were obviously they're physical anyways, but. But what, what's it like? I mean, you saw during that game, I was having fun. So that's, <laughs> yeah, yeah. that stuff is fun to me. I mean, just as a competitor, you love it. I mean, that's what Steph Curry goes through. He gets pounded, he gets beat, and that's why you, you've seen him, his frame fill out and how much stronger he's gotten. So just to see other people to go through the same thing that I've done. And as a competitor, like I said, you just love it just because it's part of the game. It's fun. And it's competitive nature. But no, I enjoy that type of stuff. It's inspiring, honestly, just seeing how happy those guys were and seeing how much, like, 
relievement they had when they won. Uh, you can tell how much hard work they put into it. And I, that's just a position that I want to be in and I know this team wants to be in. Just having that overwhelming feeling of being a champion. Didn't Draymond promise you he'd come to a UConn game if he could find stores? Yeah, <laughs> they, they argued that stores was pretty hard to get into, but I'm, I'm sure they can find a way. So I'm Do you hoping hold, you to, hold to it? Yeah, I'm hoping. I talked to Steph, Draymond, Clay. I wanted them, those guys to get to a game for sure.